Yeah, this, this probably wasn't the best idea. Guys, I am in Malibu today to explore some hidden sea caves that I've been meaning to hit for a while. First up, Leo Carrillo, or Carrillo, if you pronounce it correctly, State Beach. There's supposedly a giant sea cave right around this bend over here. I've known about it for years, I just haven't had the chance to explore it. Today, we're gonna take a look inside this big ass sea cave, hopefully find some cool nooks and crannies to explore. Let's go check it out. So I don't actually know where this is. I know it's around this point somewhere, but I'm not sure if I can access it from this way. It was low tide about an hour ago, but right now the tide's coming in. It's still not like absolutely low tide, but it's higher than it would be. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore this way a little bit and I may have to go around the top and come down from the other side. But since I'm already over here, I'm gonna explore this way. So I'm giving these Keens another try. I had another pair that I took to Costa Rica and stuff and they got destroyed after the first month, but I think the sizing was off, so I'm giving them another try. They're not that great for slick rocks and stuff, but for this type of adventure, they're kind of the best option. Well, I think there's an easier way, but pretty much committed at this point. I mean, whew. as long as I can keep my camera out of the water, but the, like I said, the tide's coming in. Yeah, I think, I think over the top was the easier way, but hey, since when have I done things the easy way, guys? You guys know me. Well, I'm having second thoughts right now. Even though low tide was only an hour ago, it's pretty rough. So the problem is the rocks are really slick. The waves are coming in sets and they're pretty strong. I don't know if I want to go into that cave. I think it's right around there. I don't know if I want to go into the cave right now. It might be a little too dangerous, but I'm gonna scope it out a little further. All right, in between sets right now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is too, uh, the, tide is definitely, the tide is definitely too high to be in here. Oh, so I'm gonna get out. It's just easier coming through, I think. Wow. Yeah, this, this probably wasn't the best idea. So I'm gonna head out. That's probably the dumbest thing I've done in a while. I'm gonna climb up. I think I'm gonna climb up this way. Might be the easiest way to go. Okay, so for future reference, we'll just call that the death cave right there. There appears to be another maybe safer cave or cove over here. Definitely not as much water going in there. So for future reference, the death cave um, I would only go when it's absolutely low tide. I don't know if you guys ever heard me say before, uh, it's not an adventure till I'm bleeding, but 
I guess it's an adventure because I'm bleeding. If I had my GoPro, it would make this a lot easier. But the fact that I'm trying to like keep this out of the water too is uh it like takes one of my hands out of the equation. My phone is in my pocket. Luckily it's waterproof, so but that might leave a scar. What do you guys think? Mellower cave. I think a lot more people come here. I don't know that people go through that, the death cave that I came through first. I don't think a lot of people do that because it kind of, you have to go around this part here, which is pretty sketchy. I came through the other, from the other side, which is also sketchy. But this is a beautiful big cave here, huh? This is crazy. It's like being in the eye of the storm right now. This little cove, just the waves pounding in. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little, a little sketchy going through the death cave over there. I love sea caves. Do you guys like sea caves? I don't know what my fascination with sea caves is. Probably because when I was growing up on Long Island, it was all just sandy beach. We didn't have any sea caves. And you don't know what you don't know, right? So until you're exposed to something, you don't know how much you like it why I'm always trying to expose you guys to new things, sea caves, slot canyons, hidden waterfalls, natural water slides, all that stuff that I didn't really think about when I was younger. They just weren't on my radar, but now I can't get enough. Well guys, beautiful sea cave adventure out here at Leo Carrillo State Beach. It ended up kind of weirdly. Um, I ran into some people that watch my channel, Javier and his wife. That was awesome to talk to them and, and they said that they're inspired by my videos to go explore California and, and they love my channel. So that was awesome. So Javier, if you're watching this, it was great meeting you, man, and your wife. Something else that happened was I was flying the drone and ran into some park rangers who were really cool. And they were like, you can't fly your drone. It's a restricted area. I had mistakenly read that uh, state parks, uh, California state parks were, you could fly your drone. So I have to double check on that. It may just be this area. There may be some certain state parks in California where you can't fly your drone, but definitely Leo Carrillo, it's a restricted area. Luckily, I got some pretty good footage before they stopped me, so that was cool. I kept it like down pretty low. I didn't go above like 100 feet or something like that. So anyway, luckily the, the wound on my, on my elbow, <laughs> the blood has started to clot on my elbow. So you know what that means? The adventure is over. <laughs> oh man, this turned out to be a lot more uh, interesting of an experience than I was expecting. I'm glad I got to experience the sea caves here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you're more of the person that likes the white sandy beaches, I have another video on the best hidden beaches in Malibu. I'll throw a link to that up here. Check that out. But no matter what you do, get out there, find your adventure, and be infamous. Infamous.